a simple tool to give more life to a character. We create the first mask, which shows the limit up to where the effect can move. We switch the mask application to invisible mode, so as not to cut the object. We name it after the description in the effect, boundary mask. Then we draw the second mask, which shows us the transition between the area affected by the effect and the area that will not move. The greater the distance between these two masks, the smoother the transition of the effect. We name it Source Mask. We duplicate this mask and name it Destination Mask. This mask is the controller that will move our object. We lock the first two masks. We apply the reshape effect to the object. It is a native After Effects effect. In the Effect Controller, we indicate each mask to the effect. The names of the masks can be changed, but it should be taken into account how they are set in the effect. Afterward, we have the option to show how much the effect should influence the movement of the destination mask. The more we set, the greater the distortion will be when moving the mask. Here, we can manipulate the mask both in position and in size, X and Y. If, for example, we don't like how the mask that delimits the boundary up to where the effect acts is set, we can always edit it so that the object moves as naturally as possible. For easier manipulation of the distortion mask, I recommend linking the mask path to null, which is done with the internal After Effects script, create nulls from paths. It will create a null for each point in the main mask. We organize the project so that it is easy for us to work with it afterward. We link these created nulls to a main null, which will move them all at once. Then we can hide the nulls we don't need. Of course, when rotating the object, our reshape effect will cause distortions, as null stays in place and distorts the object. Therefore, it is necessary to link null to the object. And with the help of the DOIC script, we use the zero command to reset the position of the null to its initial zero moment. Then, when we animate, it will be easy to return to the initial position. Now we have a set effect that is easy to use anytime. For more fun, the same procedure can be applied, for example, to the body of a character, and then we have more body movement and a more natural animation. The same procedure can be applied not only to an object, but also to an adjustment layer that has a photo or image underneath it that does not move. Practice this effect to become better specialists and to always find a quicker way to achieve a better result.